Hey guys, what's up? It's Alyssa Trahan, and today I'm going to show you how I make demos in my recording studio. So, let's go. So today I'm working on a brand new original song of mine. It's called Suffocating, and it's super fun, it's upbeat, it's got some cool pop flair in it, so I'm excited to show you how it comes together. First thing I always, always do is I get the tempo that I want of the song. So for this song, I got my click track going, and I picked out the tempo 120 BPM. So this is what the song's gonna be at, and this is what I'm gonna build off of. So the next thing I do is I build some sort of loop that I can play my other instruments to so I can build off of it and it's all on the grid locked together. And I'm writing a loop that I want to use. Let me turn this up for you. So it sounds like that. This is a pretty simple loop and I just want to use this to build on so the song comes together and it's all on the grid. So once I've written the loop that I want, I record it into the program. I'm using Pro Tools. And I have a different groove for each part of the song, so I'll show you how it sounds. This is the verse against the click track. This is our chorus. And then this is our hook. And obviously I still have the click track in, so you wouldn't hear that in the final, but now that our loop is done, I'm gonna go record some acoustic guitar, which is pretty much the foundation of all of my songs, all of my demos, so it's a pretty important part, so let's go do that. So since the acoustic guitar is kind of the foundation for all of my demos, I always make sure I use a really high quality acoustic guitar when recording. One of my favorites to use is this guy right here. This is the Organic Collection by Brave Love, specifically the Wildwood series. I love this guitar so much. It sounds amazing on my recordings. It stays in tune the whole time and it just works perfectly. So this is definitely one of my go-tos. So my personal favorite way to record acoustic guitar is with a small diaphragm condenser mic like this one I'm using here. And my favorite placement of the mic is at the 12th fret pointing towards the sound hole. I think it gives it a really nice full sound that's bright, but not too bright. So let's get the guitar track down and keep going. Okay, so we have our acoustic guitar and our drum loop finished. So let's hear how it's sounding so far. Sound good. All right, so at this point, now we have the foundation of our song down. Now I'm gonna start building on top of that. Next step is bass. So depending on the style of the song that I'm demoing that day, I'll either use a real bass or virtual instruments and MIDI bass. Today, since I'm doing a pretty poppy song, I think MIDI bass is a little more appropriate, so I'll show you how I do that. So to record MIDI instruments, all I do is I play on my keyboard what I want. I already picked out my bass sound, it sounds like this. Pretty cool bass sound. And I'm just gonna record a simple bass track right now. So let's go. All right, so now we got our drum loop, our acoustic guitar, and our bass. So we have a really strong foundation down. Now is the time that we start building and really make this song come to life. So let's go. All right, so we have the track pretty much done. Last step is vocals. I always save them for last, so everything lines up perfectly and I can really get into the mood when I sing. And uh, I'm gonna show you my super cool vocal booth right now. It's um really cool. It's my closet. So welcome to my vocal booth. <laughs> um, it's not very glamorous, but it works perfectly well. So um, I got moving blankets set up, covering all my stuff. I also have some like jackets in the corner and it mutes the sound so there's no bleed or anything. And uh, got my microphone with a pop filter right there. So let's do some vocals. When I am falling, all this time I thought you took my breath away. Be alone with you, baby. I need some space. All right, so we have everything recorded. Now is one of my favorite parts, which is mixing and mastering. So let's go.
All right, so we're officially finished with our demo. I just mixed it and mastered it, and I really, really like how it came out. Um, thank you guys for following along. I hope you thought this was fun, and now I'm gonna play you the final result, so I hope you like it. See ya! I'm falling down.